MetaMask has been the go-to extension for many DeFi and crypto users during the past few years. A simple user-friendly approach was enough to gain millions of users, but competitors seem to be emerging. One of them is Rabi, a Web 3.0 wallet developed by the team behind DeBank that aims to provide a much better experience for DeFi users and NFT collectors. The goal of Rabi is to keep crypto transactions as simple as possible while giving the user more control, privacy, and security. These ambitious goals require innovation and ingenuity, so let's see how Rabi plans to become a true MetaMask competitor. But first, what is Rabi? Rabi is an open source web 3.0 wallet that can be used with Chrome and Brave browsers. Firefox and Edge integration is still under development. Now, the team behind Rabi has developed the popular DeFi dashboard, DeBank, and is now trying to create a worthy competitor to MetaMask. The main goals of Rabi are to improve user experience, simplify DeFi use, and enable a smooth multi-chain experience for its users. The first noticeable difference between Rabi and MetaMask is the ability to handle multi-chain transactions very smoothly. With MetaMask, if you try to use Uniswap on Ethereum and QuickSwap on Polygon in two different tabs, you will need a switch between networks all the time. Rabi handles this differently and switches between networks depending on user needs. If you just made a transaction on Uniswap and want to make a new one on Polygon, you won't have to switch networks manually. The wallet does that for you. How awesome. The next thing is signing transactions. Now, signing transactions is a common occurrence in DeFi and most of the time users have no idea what they are actually signing. Non-developers will rarely understand what is going on, so they simply have to trust the protocols they are interacting with. Thanks to their previous experience with DeBank, Rappi developers have found a way to at least try and inform you what kind of transaction you need to sign. On top of that, you will also see an estimated balance change once the transaction is confirmed, meaning that a malicious contract should be easily recognizable with this feature. Another great feature that Rabi provides is the pre-transaction risk scanning that adds a protective layer on every transaction. Before prompting you to sign a transaction, Rabi will send it to a security engine for screening. Once it deems it's safe, you will be asked to sign it. Any potential risks will be reported to you in the form of warning messages such as the interacting contract has been attacked before. Next, Rabi's ease of use can't really be appreciated until you start using it. There is no need to add networks manually like with MetaMask since all existing EVM compatible networks are already added to the wallet automatically. I wonder why MetaMask doesn't do that by default. Now, when you want to connect to a protocol for the first time, the wallet will ask you on which network you want to do this. After that, the wallet will save this configuration and switching between many different dApps on many different networks will not require you to switch between them manually every single time. Apart from this, Rappi will also aggregate your holdings on all chains and display them in a compact portfolio that you can track your tokens, NFT collections, and DeFi deposits easily, kind of like DeBank. Now in conclusion, in terms of innovation and simplicity, Rabi is surely leading the charge. Everything that MetaMask users may deem as annoying is slowly being solved by new features that are constantly being added to Rabi. Now DeFi users should certainly give it a go since it simplifies multi-chain use by a lot. So if you're constantly trading and switching between networks, this will save you a lot of time in the long run. Now so far, Rabi has gathered 30,000 plus downloads by Chrome users compared to over 10 million MetaMask users. So obviously MetaMask is still in the lead. However, Rabi seems to have a lot of new, much needed features that MetaMask does not. So now on to you, which Web 3.0 wallet do you use? Are you a diehard MetaMask fan or have you even tried Rabi and what are your thoughts on it? I'd love to know your opinion. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. As always guys, stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.